Recently, Google Maps released five amazing AI features. They are already the most widely used navigation app, but Google still thinks there's room for improvement. They're making use of AI to make their app better than ever. If you like content like this, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Without wasting any more time, let's jump into these five AI features that are going to change how we navigate and explore in the near future. Number five, Immersive View. Since its announcement in May 2022, Google Maps Immersive View has been frustratingly sluggish to roll out, but now the feature is finally available to more people, which means 15 cities in iOS and Android will see the release of the more recent Immersive View for routes. Now, how is that important? If you ask us, it's a whole new navigation experience. If you take a look at well-known sites in cities that are compatible with Immersive View, it actually shows you what is happening there with its real-time aerial view. Now, this is not by any means an ignorable feat. It was made possible by using a combination of street view, satellite, and live data. Google, for the first time, announced Immersive View for routes in May. It improves upon the app's already super useful features by improving stunning visuals for all your planned journeys. Not only is it helpful in navigation, but it is good for businesses as well. Now, why is that so? It's because as you tend to move closer to your destination, you can see what shops, restaurants, banks, hospitals, and other notable places are nearby your destination. As someone who frequently relies on Google Maps for business travel, these updates are meant to serve as a valuable productivity tool. Google announced 15 locations in May, which include Amsterdam, Barcelona, Dublin, France, Las Vegas, London, Los Angeles, Miami, New York, Paris, San Francisco, San Jose, Seattle, Tokyo, and Venice. The latest news suggests that the feature will finally roll out in other cities as well. Number four, new search options. Given Google's continued dominance in the search engine industry, the search function in Google Maps isn't as robust as it should be. But now everything is going to change this month. Google has announced a couple of modifications to support more generalized searches in Google Maps, such as things to do around me or animal latte art. The company claims to receive millions of navigation queries every year. The first set of results now will be photo-based, and it will be derived from an AI-powered algorithm that studies billions of user-shared photos. This searching mechanism employs image processing to provide results based on photos, rather than just showing cafes with animal latte art in the name or in the reviews. You can get more information and directions by selecting your preferred image from the gallery. This feature has already been released in Japan, the United States, France, and Germany. The second upgrade is assisting with more general things to do searches, and it was released worldwide on iOS and Android in the beginning of this month. Number three, augmented reality. Google is now making the best use of augmented reality, otherwise known as AR, by labeling places in the new immersive view. Now, for those of you who don't know, AR is not VR, it is just a tiny virtual layer over the real environment. This feature has been present in the Maps app before this update, but now Google has rebranded this as Lens in Map from Search with Live View, and it has expanded to cover over 50 new locations. Just press the Lens button in the Google Maps search bar on either Android or iOS if you're feeling totally lost in a new region. Pressing that button activates a live camera view, allowing you to pan about and observe the places that Google Maps has marked as nearby, such as landmarks, restaurants, ATMs, and stations. Dozens of additional places, such as Austin, Las Vegas, Rome, Sao Paulo, and Taipei will soon have access to this augmented reality capability, which to be honest is more of an augmented reality thing. Talking about AR, Google has also started a project called IRIS, which is about augmented reality that has reportedly been canceled. The project aimed to develop AR glasses resembling ski goggles that were expected to be launched next year. Instead of jumping into hardware, Google decided to shift its focus to software, aiming to build a micro XR platform that could be licensed to other headset manufacturers. The cancellation of Project Iris is attributed to a combination of factors, including shifting strategies, employee departures, and challenges in competing as a new entrant in the AR space. 
Despite the cancellation, Google is still experimenting with AR on the hardware front in a partnership with Samsung to develop a mixed reality platform. Number two, new driving help. Some driving upgrades are on the way as well, or at least will be available in the coming months for those who use Google Maps as their in-car sat-nav on a regular basis. Among these updates, Google promises improved lane details that will let you know when to exit the highway and more realistic buildings that will make it easier to determine your exact location. While 20 additional European countries will soon have access to Google's AI-powered speed limit data, high occupancy vehicle lanes assistance will also be available on US routes alongside it. The United States, Canada, France, and Germany are among the 12 nations that will be getting these enhanced maps navigation features in the coming months. You should be prepared to wait anything from three to six months within that time frame. Number one, EV charger info. Finding electric vehicle chargers can be challenging due to various reasons. Compatibility issues between vehicles, charging stations, and grid infrastructure can lead to connectivity and reliability problems. Public charging stations often experience performance issues, such as connectivity problems, internal faults, and malfunctioning equipment, negatively impacting user experience. Ensuring an adequate number of charging stations in different regions, especially rural areas, is crucial for widespread EV adoption. But regional disparities in deployment can be a challenge. The reliability of public charging networks is a major problem for EV drivers, with outages or malfunctions leading to one in five drivers not charging their vehicles during a visit to a public charging station. The list of issues goes on and on, but Google is now trying to address some of the issues. While using Google Maps on Android Auto for navigation and having your car configured as an electric vehicle in the app settings, gas stations will no longer be prioritized at the top of your category's menu. Instead, charging points will now take precedence, offering a more practical and relevant option for drivers of electric vehicles. Although most electric vehicle owners plan their routes in accordance with charging stations, we've all been there. Sometimes we unexpectedly need to plug in at the last minute. In such circumstances, locating a charging station could be difficult if you aren't familiar with the region you're traveling through. Google Maps now makes it much easier to locate the juice you need with this modification to the Categories menu. In addition to letting Google know that you own an electric vehicle, you can also specify the type of charger your vehicle requires and the desired charging speed. Now these are all big improvements, but Google Maps still has some distance to cover. One significant hurdle lies in surpassing the in-vehicle navigation systems integrated into EVs. These built-in systems possess the advantage of being aware of the car's status and can frequently update the route automatically, considering factors such as the remaining charge level which Google Maps still lacks. Subscribe to AI Symbiosis for more news from the world of AI and technology. Will you replace your smartphone with a wearable? It's a genuine question, because a company run by ex-Apple employees claimed to have made something that can replace smartphones. To unravel the details, click on the video link popping up, and we will catch you there in a second.